Hi, it's Kate with The Tiger here with today's top headlines in Thailand and Southeast Asia. Stay tuned for a quick update on the COVID-19 situation in Thailand, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Tourism officials have been pushing for an October reopening date for Bangkok, but according to the Bangkok Post, the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration now says the capital could reopen by November 1st. That is, if at least 70% of the population in Bangkok is fully vaccinated against the coronavirus. Tourism officials have been planning for the reopening of Bangkok and four other provinces, but plans are still in the works and need to be evaluated and approved. Bangkok officials recently spoke with their counterparts in Phuket to discuss the sandbox reopening pilot project on the island to help with the capital's planning process. Along with criminal charges for allegedly suffocating a suspect to death in an attempt to extort 2 million baht, the former police station chief in Nakhon Sawan, known as Joe Ferrari, and six of his subordinates are now facing charges for committing disciplinary offenses while on duty. According to the news outlet Nation Thailand, the Police Serious Disciplinary Review Board filed a complaint against the seven police officers, and the officers have a right to appeal within 15 days. Patalong authorities have requested help from the Department of Special Investigations to investigate the death of over a million swiftlets, which are birds that produce saliva to make nests that are prized as health delicacies in Asia. The birds were found dead in caves where the company Siam Nest has the authority to collect the nest. The company says the financial loss is around 5 billion baht. A Thai woman who had been promised a job as a masseuse at a spa in Dubai says she was forced to perform sexual services. The woman made a post on social media drawing so much attention that the Bangkok Post says Prime Minister Prayut Chanacha stepped in to instruct the Lamer Ministry with the help of the Royal Thai Embassy in Abu Dhabi to get the woman home. Reports say the woman was offered a job for 40,000 baht a month. When she arrived in the country, her passport was immediately taken away, she says. When she asked to leave, she was told she would have to pay 70,000 baht to cover the travel costs. A Thai temple in western Thailand's Kanchanaburi province, which also serves as a drug rehab, has been ordered to close following allegations of ransom, torture, and abuse of human rights. Due to the startling allegations, the temple is being investigated by the Narcotics Control Board and the Public Health Ministry. Rehab patients reportedly stayed in poor conditions and received one meal a day or two if they were lucky. Sometimes they had to eat spoiled rice and eat out of the same bowls they used for bathing and flushing the toilets. Up to 10 patients were forced to eat from the same bowl and use the same spoon. And now for the top headlines in Southeast Asia. In Myanmar, the country's shadow government is planning a 300 million U.S. dollar vaccination drive to cover 20 percent of the population, according to the South China Morning Post. The shadow government was formed by activists and lawmakers loyal to the ousted National League of Democracy following the military takeover in February and the bloody crackdown by security forces. In Malaysia, Channel News Asia reports that interstate travel and tourism activities will be allowed once 90% of Malaysia's adult population is fully vaccinated. The decision was announced by the country's prime minister in a statement on Wednesday. So far, 80% of the adult population in Malaysia have received both doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. In the Philippines, the popular mayor of the country's capital, Manila, announced that he will run for president in the 2022 elections, according to the Associated Press. The mayor grew up in a slum neighborhood, and the Associated Press says he was a child scavenger before becoming an actor and then entering politics. The legendary boxer Manny Pacquiao announced his plans to run for president as well. In Singapore, some health experts are calling for vaccine mandates. A report from Reuters says that there is a growing toll of severe COVID-19 infections among unvaccinated people, with the overall infection rate surging and vaccine take-up plateauing at 82% of the population. And now for a quick update on the COVID-19 situation in Thailand. 
Today, Thursday, September 23rd, the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration reported 13,256 new COVID-19 cases and 131 deaths. Since April 1st, in the latest wave of the virus in Thailand, the CCSA has reported 1,495,750 COVID-19 infections. In the 24-hour period since the last count, the CCSA has recorded 13,829 recoveries. There are now 128,367 patients being treated for COVID-19 in Thailand. And that wraps up the COVID-19 update. For more news on Thailand, go to thetiger.com or check out our evening show, Thailand News Today.